When you open the Node-RED editor in your browser, this is the view you are greeted with. There are four areas of the editor. The header with its deploy button and main menu, the palette on the left hand side, the sidebar on the right, and the main workspace in the middle. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to these components. First, we'll look at the palette. This is the list of all the nodes you have installed in Node-RED that you can use to create your flows. They are separated into categories to help keep them organized. A search bar at the top can be used to filter the list to find the nodes you are looking for. When your mouse is over the palette, a button appears that can be used to hide the palette, or to show it again. Next, we'll look at the main workspace. This is where you create your flows. It provides a large canvas where you drag your nodes from the palette and start wiring them together. The workspace can be split into multiple tabs to help organize your flows. Clicking the flow list button brings up the search dialog pre-filtered for your flows, making it easy to jump between flows when you have more tabs than fit on your screen. The view can be zoomed in and out using the controls in the footer, and there's also a tool to help you navigate your flows when they're off screen. The next component is the header. This has two important items. The deploy button is what you click to take your current flow configuration and send it to the Node-RED runtime. It provides a set of options for the type of deploy it does, something we'll cover in a future video. The other important item in the header is the menu. This gives you more direct access to many features of Node-RED, including import and export of flows, search, flow and subflow management, and managing your palette of nodes and your user settings. The final component is the sidebar. This provides a number of tabs with different tools in. Some of those tabs are provided by Node-RED itself, some are added by modules you may have installed. The core set of tabs are the information tab, which shows information about the current selection of nodes and how they are configured and their help and documentation. The debug tab shows messages that have been passed to debug nodes, as well as any warning or error level log messages. The configuration nodes tab shows the configuration nodes that you have in your flow. And the context data tab shows the contents of context, organized by node, flow, and global scopes. We'll have further videos on each of these tabs later in the series.